Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to finish work on the zero turn. I have the correct disc on the grinder, have everything all set up, ready to start grinding. I have three blades that I need to sharpen. And I believe I'll grind them and then just go over real lightly with a, with a file and then flatten the, the flat side as it should be. I greased that center spindle, so I need to uh, grease the other two. And then it should be just tipping this thing back up, sliding it under. I have the actual instructions for putting it back on. There is no instructions for taking it off in any of the literature, as you've seen yesterday, but it, it's pretty simple. But there is instructions for putting it back on, So, and I think that's going to be a little more critical. I'll have to get the belts actually get the belts on and that that could be a little difficult so hopefully I don't have too much problem with it so I'm gonna get grinding and try to get this done as quick as possible because I have to get this trimmer going everything is starting to go to seed all these weeds are starting to go to seed and I'm just gonna have a mess to deal with if I can't get this going and get stuff trimmed so I'm going to hustle my butt and try to get this done.
Okay, now these are as sharp as I'm gonna get them. And I need to test them for balance. What I did was just put a screw. Actually, you're supposed to put oil on here. And I could do that, but I don't think it really needs it. Now well, it's coming out pretty much perfectly balanced, but ah, where is some light oil? It's all the way back here. Yeah, with my construction stuff out here and, and this and the other tractor, what a mess. I mean, I can't wait till I get uh, space for my shop stuff so I can uh, get this area cleaned out. Okay, here we go. Three in one oil. Back in, uh, back in the day, they called this sewing machine oil on my old manuals for the tractors it'll say uh <laughs> oh my god i was looking everywhere yesterday for this and i never found it yay i found it okay so it is tipping a little bit to this side which means I got to take some off of here. But let's see what it looks like if I flip it over. It's pretty much showing the same thing for the other side. Yeah, this is kind of a hack job on here. I wish I had my Tormek. I have a Tormek uh, grinder up there. Yeah, there's my Tormek, which is a water-cooled stone. I'm going to call that one good. If they're a smidge off balance, I'm going to live with it. What I'm going to do is just use these until the end of the year. Then I'm going to put new blades on them. The blades, the new blades that I bought are uh, are the wrong blades. See, it's kind of how you put it on there. Yeah, that one looks fine too. It's not like I took, I took a bit off to get rid of some deep nicks, but not enough to make this unbalanced at least as far as it matters for a lawnmower okay I'm gonna call that good I don't get this screw out of here I will end up brushing against it end up cutting my arm up on that okay note to self the wrench is right there I may have to ask somebody that <laughs> online remember where I put my wrench Yeah, I was trying to find places for stuff, and I think I was going to put the grinder right there, have the wrench right above it, which, you know, all makes sense, but... Okay, now I get these on, or first I'm going to pump some grease into them zerks, then get these on, and then I'm going to try to wrangle this back under there and get it, get it hooked up. One thing off my plate, when I was grinding here, 
I ran out of juice with the battery and I went all over looking for batteries and all of them just had a tiny little bit of juice left so I had to put all three or three of the batteries on chargers and then I went and took the dog for a walk then I changed the carburetor on this I was gonna do a video on it but I just I got to get it done this is this is like my um, most important tool in the summer so you can see there's a new bulb on there still got a few of the miscellaneous stuff here the old plug and here's the old uh, carburetor uh, four-stroke carburetors are pretty interesting I'll have to show that next time I do it I'm getting way too much gas so this particular carb actually has a screw adjustment generally they they try to uh, make a special tool so that you can't adjust them so I'm gonna try to adjust that and if I can't get it adjusted uh, so it's working properly I'm just gonna take it in I really don't have the time to just keep dicking with it and you know buying new parts and stuff it's got you know a new plug new carburetor new uh, fuel bulb it's got all the parts that it needs if the head is cracked or something like that then I got to get a new one but hopefully they'll figure out what's wrong with it or I'll figure out what's wrong with it so let me get some grease in there and get these blades back on
Okay, all done. That wasn't too hard. If I had all the tools at my disposal and I had my bench grinder set up for doing the blades and all that stuff, this would probably take two, I don't know, maybe three hours. But as it is, you know, everything kind of went wrong. Didn't have the batteries for the grinder, didn't, you know, this, that, and the other thing. So it kind of bled on into two days, which kind of sucked. But she's all together. I am not going to go and level the blades or anything right now. I think I'm going to do that at the end of the year. It's already pretty damn late in the year. I brought this over. I went to check. We had a little bit of rain. It wasn't in the forecast at all, but we had a little bit of rain. Went to check on it. And this guy was inside the rain gauge. So I brought it over here to take a picture. I figured he was dead. That's a, uh, oh, what is that, Imperial Moth? Something like that. I thought he was dead. I had this sitting over on the gator there while I was working on the, on the trimmer. And then I seen him moving around a little bit. So I got him out of there and uh, dropped him right there. I'm going to have to put him outside somewhere. He's not all beat up, so he's probably still got a few days left in him. They, they last a week, I believe. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of these this year and never seen them before. So this thing has all new hoses. It's all <laughs> damn near all new stuff. And I still can't get the thing started. So that's what I'm going to have to work on tomorrow. I am already way past out of time for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up a little bit more, move the gator, get that stuff off the gator and bring it in here. And then I'm going to start this thing up and drive it out of here. I think I'll test it out right away. I don't know if we have any any grass to test it out on. I think everything was cut right before the women left. Ah, I'll at least get it out of here. Okay, all done. Now, I gotta get this running, but it can't be today, unfortunately. I am out of time. Gotta get this mess cleaned up as well. So, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I really should try that thing on some grass, but I don't know. I just don't have the time at the moment. 
But anyways, if you want to see that whenever I do it, uh, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. That way you'll receive notice when I post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.